has been portrayed as the goal to success and on top of that peer pressure students not attending the clinical portion students bunking their classes and sitting and reading inside a very dark room with an ipad or a tablet with notes all together and they score and they come to the top exam they want to learn everything in a month of medicine posting you can't so what should a second year mbbs do and how they should develop or how they should compartmentalize their learning in the second year third year and final year and how and what is the way to ace the clinical journey of yours neat pg next exam so many mcqs pyqs pyts revision revision starting very very early that's been portrayed as the goal to success and on top of that peer pressure students not attending the clinical portion students bunking their classes and sitting and reading inside a very dark room with an ipad or a tablet with notes all together and they score and they come to the top exam and outdated expectations sally's hemoglobinometer it pains me when an undergraduate spends their time energy and their beautiful memory for remembering sally's hemoglobinometer it's outdated new bath chamber still there will be people who argue there are use cases of new bath chamber one let it be read by an md pathologist when they are going to use it rbc count manually not required all these outdated expectations so all these are actually cramming and kind of suffocating an young mbbs doctor who spent their entire youth with one goal to become the doctor they looked upon to become the doctor they inspired to be they become the person who was able to diagnose things like this to become a house md and to become an inspiration for the future generations i am losing them so in this video i'm going to talk about how to develop clinical thinking and how to start early not for any exam for the dream two words which all of you dreamt every single night when you burned the midnight oil in 11th and 12th standard the doctor and how to become an amazing clinician if you're first time here i'm dr anjit click on the subscribe button let's learn more about pathology medicine in a holistic way possible so remove all the clutter you became you took this course to become a doctor and the goal is to become an amazing doctor that's all every other exam is a passing cloud you will clear the exam without any problem don't worry about it people will say n number of things you will clear the exam if you are focused and if you don't take the focus away from becoming an amazing clinician that's one thing so what to do if you are a second year student you are entered second year student i have gone into clinical postings in the morning half and i'm reading and sitting in the classrooms discussing for the a uh, path of microbiology and pharmacology in the afternoon half so what should i do in the first half most of you guys bunk right please don't do that so in order to develop clinical thinking one biggest mistake most of the students who do and they backfire is they want to learn everything in a month of medicine posting you can't even 10 years is not enough to excel medicine how can you learn in one month you want to hear rough rumbling mid diastolic murmur with pre systolic accentuation and some of your batchmates say they hear which is obviously fake and when you put the stethoscope you can't hear except for shh, shh. that confidence broken is what is making me fear to put my step inside the second clinical posting so what should a second year mbbs do and how they should develop or how they should compartmentalize their learning in the second year third year and final year and how and what is the way to ace the clinical journey of yours learning and becoming a good doctor is a marathon it's not a single day race it's not a six month sprint it's not a three month sprint you cannot excel medicine in three months if someone says that you can do that that's absolutely wrong that that person also knows everyone in this medical college knows it's a marathon so what do i do in the early half so that i don't get burnt out i keep the interest alive and i take it forward to build an excellence simple if you're a second year of mbbs if you start at second year of mbbs and if you're in the journey of second year mbbs i want you to just look at few simple things history taking examination basic examination how to auscultate what is an auscultation how to percuss how to palpate how to inspect basic things not extraordinary things not to hear murmurs to hear this is s1 s2 and this is abnormal heart sound enough that's enough that's more than enough s1 s2 i can say even in the middle of a crowded street it is s1 s2 that confidence is what is required in second year nothing else okay the normal percussion note enough dull or abnormal secondary normal abnormal enough normal s1 s2 abnormal s2 enough 
normal tummy ascetic enough normal pitting edema non pitting edema enough that is enough that's all cough reflex positive in hernia not enough transcendental elimination positive negative enough differential diagnosis what your seniors might have been saying is for later as of now excel the history taking very 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 important for every student across your career how to talk how to take history how to get difficult histories how to develop a rapport with the patient that's what is important in the second year do not overshoot do just do these two things enough you need not answer the questions asked to your final year student in in the discussion postings that's not required let's not look ourselves big let's be very basic let's be very very simple and do it that's what i want you to do in the first 6 months of second year mbbs so once you have gotten hold of mbb second year that's your microbiology decent amount of it pathology decent amount of it pharmacology decent amount of it i want you to venture into two more things read the case history you will have the case sheets you will have a patient's profile look at the investigation because you know what is cbc in the second half of mbbs you know what is reticulocyte you know what is sgot sgpt you know what is blood culture you will know what is the drugs you know antibiotics you know antipyretics you know antihistamines so that you can start applying them in the second half it's very simple first half look at this part alone that's more than enough second half look at this part alone throughout my second year of mbbs i don't want you to give a diagnosis or a differential diagnosis or to memorize the viva points of medicine surgery obg pediatrics not required at all you have your own time in the third and final year to read it to excel it to master it but if you miss this journey here you will never have a time again to auscultate you will never have a time again to spend time in history taking so now i told you this is what to do obviously talking to someone or history taking needs some expertise you cannot just like that go pull a chair and say tell it won't work and in the morning half when your senior is taking history when they have been questioned grilled by their professors they won't have the time for you to teach you how to talk how to take a history so how do i do that the best answer for that is catch hold of an amazing senior you must have definitely good seniors we generally don't choose them that's all right that's our problem go and choose a senior who will definitely go to the evening rounds because they have to take history for the next day that's how routine mbbs college works right so catch hold of the senior go in the evening half an hour or one hour along with them just shadow them shadowing is what is required nothing is required don't disturb them let them take history sit and watch how they are talking this 30 minutes of evening stride will make you a master in building rapport not just look at the senior that time your pg will be in rounds look at them how they are observing staff nurses will be there look at them how they are talking learning can be from anyone not just from a bbs because here what i'm learning is how to build a rapport with a patient learn every not if not every day if every day is too toxic too difficult for you I I use the word toxic because you guys say that I have to do read from uh, morning to evening. Again, you are asking me to go and read. No, alternate days, just have a coffee, go there, sit there, observe, observation, and if you can just take few little points every single day, that's more than enough. And next, what you do is maybe the other three days, go and sit with the patient, and you start developing a rapport. Three days to observe. Three days to build simply. The next three days, I want don't want you to spend thirty minutes. Five ten minutes enough. Go sit to a patient. Talk. What happened? What's your problem? Casual talk. Not ch- check boxes of history taking. Casual talk. Learn how to talk. That learning what you're going to do in the evening is going to make you like an amazing impact, which will not even think of this is what helped. It will give you an effect long later. Maybe five six years down the road, you must have learned. this evening rounds which i did every single day which didn't have an objective which didn't have anything gave me a way on how to smoothly talk to a patient how to gather information from a patient that history taking gives you 70 to 80 percent of the diagnosis that's what i want you to do guys the road map is simple history taking examination to be mastered evening just learn how to develop rapport with a patient this is what i want you guys to do in second year of mbbs 
clinical thing is not difficult. Like I focus PYQs, like I focus PYTs, like I focus MCQ, focus here. Let's develop an amazing doctor and also an amazing student parallelly so that it's not a burden for you to read them and to see them separately, right? If you have any comments, put in the comment section. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjan. Bye-bye. Thank you.